welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Zoe. Gonna be our last deck today. This one's gonna be a lot more aggressive than our other decks. We've played three very slow uh, control decks, late game decks, which are um, you know very powerful right now. Um, but this one, this donation deck is going to be a fast one. And so whenever you're ranking up, sometimes it's good to play some fast decks. Now, this is the kind of deck that I haven't really played before. I've, I've played against it. I've played against some Starry Scamp, um, Celestial Aggro decks before, but I haven't played it myself. So it'll be interesting to see how it does. Um, we're going to be trying to go wide, use Arena Battlecaster um, to give all of our, to buff up all of our attacking allies. Um, and we'll also be using uh, Celestials, like these Invoke cards that cost three or less. There's some really good aggressive ones. There's the three mana. Um, the three mana one is going to be Elusive. The one mana one, that four one Overwhelm, that's a very good attacker. And then you also get the three mana spell that stuns two cards, which also can help get a bunch of damage through. Stun a couple blockers. We'll have like Overwhelm with the Crescent Guardian, um, Vision. Helping out us going wide, we can discard that very easily with the Draven or even with the Spacey Sketcher. Um, and uh, yeah, Crowd Favorite rewards us for going wide. So this will be a nice aggressive deck, same with Decisive Maneuver. So let's see how it does. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked with some Draven Zoe. Yeah, one second. All right, we got Zoe Lee Sin is going to be our matchup. So can we out aggro Lee Sin? I feel like we should be able to, but, you know, like I said, I haven't seen this play out, so we'll see. Um, as far as our hand goes, let's get rid of the Decimate, and I think I'm going to just keep the rest. The rest looks pretty good. Even the Decimate's not bad, though. It's like a way to finish out the game, but it's it's a late-game card. I hope they don't have Zoe, because as long as they don't have Zoe, we get to hit them, get the... I guess we don't just make a Celestial immediately, but we'll get the card that gets a Celestial card. For Starry's Camp. Perfect. All right. Good start. Okay. Let's let's play the fan and go put get Draven in our hand for next turn. Man, they want to make that trade. I am happy with that trade. Interesting. I know I could play the scamp, but I, I don't want to show them that I have that card, honestly. They know that I'm going to have the Draven, and I am going to play the Draven before. Like, I could play the Scamp and then just attack for four, but I, I like it playing the Draven and having that with the Vision. So they're going to hush Zoe and then block. game all right well that's that's what we want our deck to do basically that's that's the ideal starting hand have zoe turn one and get that done nice five minute game that was a very even one 1.1 on each side for that prediction all right so prediction started because we are playing against the same matchup now our hand was perfect their hand was not perfect so we'll see how it goes this time we have another great hand. Do they have a better hand than they had last time? I think it's a different opponent. I think this is a different opponent. Come on, let us hit him. No! That's too bad. All right, well, we'll pass. Do not want to make that trade. What's up, Ferber? Come on, chase me! 
Mm. I mean, this would be me having a, a two mana Zoe to put in play. Like, either they have Pill Cascade or. Yeah, like, basically, they were either going to have Pill Cascade or Hush. So, yeah, we completely trade. But with having the Starry Scamps, that wasn't a trade I wanted to make. It's Draven time. All right. It's not Benjamin Farron time yet, but it will be nice later. Good job, Draven. I could hard cast Starry Scamper, I guess, but Starry Scamp, I guess, but I will not do that. Hey, buddy, what you do? Consider discarding crowd favorite and all these spinning axes and trying to level up Draven. They could, you know, stop that with a hush or concussive palm. Like they're a concussive palm deck, so it Force is meaningless. Didn't Don't feel like it was worth it to do that. Just a little something I like to call fun. I really need my Zoe to hit them. Oh, that's true. Nopify would have stopped the whirling death by me. I didn't think about Nopify. Yeah, that would have been that would have been a bummer. One sling, a bunch of targets. Yeah, if they didn't have turn one Zoe, we would uh, be very far ahead. Kind of like our previous game when my opponent didn't have turn one Zoe. Trickster never loses because Zoe makes the roses. But they did. My force not bad. This Joker. Enter your spirit. That's at least not killing my Draven. But these Starry Scamps were pretty bad. Axes coming right up. Hmm. Okay, axe into crescent. What are you waiting for? Now we're cooking. So next turn we'll have Captain Farron. This does allow them to play like slow speed spells to start giving Lee Sin a barrier, but of course it gives us more attackers um, throughout. No. I stand for Noxus. I gotta work with this Joker. Okay, so pass or... Where, where are we at? We're at five. Pass or attack. So we can certainly assume, like, they're they're wasting six mana if I pass. We can definitely assume that they're going to have a spell and just block. You think I got to attack? I think I got to pass. I, I got to think I can't attack. That's so much mana they waste. All right, everybody says attack. So I will attack. My instinct is to pass. Free of dollars. Everybody says attack, though. Well, 
Well, that's good for me. Okay, well, attack worked out. This was a good attack. Killing this thing. Well, I guess I, I, we don't know if they have another spell or not, but... My poor opponent, that's a a bug. I mean I can't I can't do anything about it. I I wish I could tell them I'm sorry this is a bug, that's not how it's supposed to happen. But that's a current bug that you can't hush you can't double hush something right now. We've done that like two days ago. So as long as they don't have Zenith Blade, they're not like killing us, killing us. Alright, so yeah, so that, that attack did work out. I would have passed, but it, it worked out very well for me. I feel bad, bad for them. I did consider playing this and looking for the stun to invoke. So even, even if they do have another deny, then you know maybe they don't draw a spell for Lee Sin. Um, if they draw Zenith Blade, no, because they cast Zenith Blade, then I cast Decimate. Awesome. Alright, GG's 2 0. My opponent would have had a chance a little bit if if uh you know double hush actually worked. So yeah, like the most recent patch update made that bug happen and and so we say so like basically what it is is Double Hush doesn't work, or Double Equinox doesn't work. But you can Hush and Equinox, and it works. So, what's a... Like, it's not supposed to... Like, if you Hush something, and then, I, like, they Hush my thing, I buff it, they're supposed to be able to Hush it again. That's what, how it's supposed to work. You, you know, like, if you just remember, like, having, like, casting Hush mm -hmm. and getting the fleeting copies and casting it again, it's supposed to work like that. Like, it's supposed to be just fine to cast multiple hush on the same thing but for some reason right now two hush on the same target or two equinox on the same target it doesn't like recognize it for some reason and so it doesn't work um i like our hand i'm going to mulligan this house spider i kind of want to keep it though yeah i'm just gonna keep it i'm not sure about purify I don't know about Purify. I was just told the Equinox and Hush.
for the money makers. We'll just discard that, we make a new one. I wish I would have equinoxed. Time for violence. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I was like, whoa. You can't stop me. I'll just block like this, actually. Let's just do this. Take the four from those things. Oh, I got that. I wanted to play Charger to unlock Crescent Guardian. And I'm basically the Draven's biggest fan is just Spinning Axe for me. So I'm, I'm giving them the 1-1 one, one for Misfortune to block, or nah. Um, no, we, we played the biggest fan after the Zoe, because we played Zoe on turn 1, so we've already played a biggest fan. We've already played both of those. Um, maybe I should be trading Zoe, because Zoe can't block Sprayfin anyway. So maybe that's just a good trade. Yeah, Fervor, Fervor is the most likeliest of spells. That they drew with spray fin. Okay, yeah, you think I should be doing the Zoe trade? I know what I'm doing. Okay. Go down to seven. Round favorite. Let's do this. Now we're cooking. Come on, Zoe, what's your name? Sorry, Zoe. Uh, it's Draven time. Looking good, kid. Bring you that 5-3 or 5-4. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Get to work. Yep, there was the fervor. But I'd rather use the fervor on that thing than my crowd favorite. Joker. I know, right? Tell me about it. Yeah, that's a that's a great top deck. Oh, so they could have a fervor, which fervor should not. Should not stop this. So, like, the five four is going to do five damage. You know, if they have. Gangplank block the 5-4, then I Whirling Death the Gangplank, and we overwhelm 5 damage you to them. Do this. Who's that you got there? We live here. Say your farewells. 
Who's that you got there? So. Alright, so they take six. So fervor, what else would they what else would they play? Probably just fervor, right? Maybe make it rain, maybe what a parlay or a transfusion or a death sand. Hey German Potato. Thanks for catching the stream. Well they can't get death yeah, so they have decimate, but they can't they so that's not the card they grabbed with Sprayfin, right? Like, Sprayfin grabbed a spell that cost three or less. So we know the card on the right here is a card that is a spell that cost three or less from Sprayfin. I think it was. I think the Decimate was the first card they. Ping them by their entrails. One of us was Decimate the card they just drew? If it was the card they just drew, then this one was the, is the spell. I guess I didn't play, pay that close attention. All right, that one was a spell. Yep. And that's game. We three and zero. Oh. All me, and maybe those other guys. Whatever. Yeah, those other guys did some work. So this is our first hand not having turn one Zoe. Makes our hand look worse. Um, but this is still a pretty sweet hand. Basically we can have, yeah, like this is a pretty sweet hand. Let's just keep it. So we're going to, oh no. As I say, we, we basically need to discard anything. We need to discard basically whatever we draw for Spacey Sketcher. Because I could have turn one Sketcher, turn two House Spider, and Starry Scamp, and have all of those attack by turn two. If I don't Spacey Sketcher, then we don't get to have all of that attacking on turn two. If we save it for Axe, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna be a lot slower, but we can do that. I guess we can wait for Spinning Axe with how we drew the Draven. We'll be a lot slower. We'll only have three power and play this turn instead of six. Thanks, Edgar. Thanks for the donation deck. For Zoe, Karma, Celestials. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Let me write that down. The Isles will bloom again. You hoping they'll die of boredom? Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Sun this, moon that, adults are boring. But they're pretty to paint. Paint your feelings. Attack. I cannot be broken. Sure you can. All right, let's get rid of the Maokai. Okay, thanks. Feel it's a rough draft. Feel free to edit. Okay, write that down. I'm gonna just let that hit me. I'm just gonna play that, play crowd favorite, open attack. Um I guess the Joel Hunters is gonna kill my Draven. So we'll get another spinning axe. The people are my 
I hope no withering whale. Okay, Wednesday. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Wednesday is the, the later stream. That sound good, Edgar? With the later stream on Wednesday? You know, like third third slot then. I usually do three decks on Wednesdays with the late stream. Okay, so they looked for some Withering Whales, stuff like that. Could not find it. Alright, so Raka, Tom, Kench. A deck you don't play against a ton these days. That's a good one. They can block very well. So I could go... I kind of like this hand. I go turn one Draven. Uh, turn two House Spider. Turn three Draven. Turn four Spacey Sketcher. Spacey Sketcher. Get rid of the two spinning axes that we've gotten from the Draven so far. I like it. Never mind, turn one Zoe. Okay, because I was thinking, like, with us having the attack token on turn three, that we'd have, like, turn three Draven, it makes a spinning axe attack, make another spinning axe, we'll have two spinning axes, so, like, the Skechers will get rid of both spinning axes. That's what I was kind of thinking there. That's alright, good trade. Done. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to try the moon glow on this thing. I guess. By starlight. Where are you off to? Yuck. Yuck. Alright, oh, hey, let's look for Equinox. Man, we are not good at finding Equinox. I guess... Charger? Messenger? Probably one of those two. Probably Charger or Messenger. I guess, like, Moonglow would shut down Hush. But Charger is just terrible against Soraka. Maybe it's Moonglow to shut down Hush. No, that was the one card. The only card. Cause you know, like Pale Cascade, we had that stopped with the spinning axe. Uh, they've they've just had the perfect answer, and we've had three we've had three super cool star charts, or like you know basically three invoke cards of three or less, and we've seen zero stun and zero equinox. We've gotten very unlucky. And they had, yeah, like they had exactly like every 
every card you could want. I know desire. Ooh, you wish crap. Where are you off to? Live with her I weave my own Live with her. Finally an Equinox, it's a little late. Um, I don't... I don't really see a way for us to win this, is there? Yeah, they just, they just have the, they have the luck this game. GG's. Alright, so four and one. So pretty good. Pretty good, you know, nothing wrong with the four and one. Um, both of these champions are just amazing. Draven and Zoe are very, very good uh, for their mana cost. And they kind of make up for, like, a, a lot of, like, substandard cards, like, right? Like, we're, or subpar cards. Like, there's a lot of subpar cards in here. But the two champions really tie the deck together and uh, make it what it is. We, we did have some good luck in a lot of those games, uh, having turn one Zoe quite a bit. You know, or turn three Draven, and, and the Draven's biggest fans were really good. Like, the, these cards giving us the turn three Draven was awesome. I probably, like, kind of just thinking back on those games, I think I, I probably kept um, mediocre cards too much. I think I probably should have mulliganed more, right? Like, I think I just kind of kept, like, House Spiders too much, for example, right? Like, we'd always, like, have, like, I kept, like, House Spider a couple of times and then just never played it. Um, so that was that was probably something that I should just be mulliganing more, and, and uh, that's good to know. Because our, our deck... Um, well, like the house spider, you know, is great with the battle caster and crowd favorite and stuff like that. Really, the power of our deck is like Zoe, Spacey Sketcher, um, with the the Celestial Invoke and Draven. That's really like the the power of our deck. And then like Pale Cascade. Um, and so I probably should have kind of mulliganed more, looking for like that kind of stuff instead of keeping like the you know be below average parts of our deck. But good learning, good learning. Um, so there we go. That's our, our fast aggro deck today, Draven Zoe. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. If you've been playing this kind of deck, let me know how it's been going for you. What, what have you been doing well against? What have you been struggling against? All that kind of stuff. How do you like the deck? Um, any, any other kind of decks you want to see on stream? Let me know. I always love seeing those kind of comments too. All right, but that's it here for Draven Zoe. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.